Good morning, students and staff of St. John's Academy. Today is Monday, April 25th. Welcome back to what I hope will be a full week of school. No, no winter storms uh, or building closures or, or holidays in a full five days. Uh, so that means that we're going to have a traditional week um, with Mass on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Adoration on Tuesday. Uh, Father Pfeiffer will be gone this week, so I believe just Father Lorson's classes uh, we'll be having the priest visits on Wednesday, uh, reconciliation on uh, Thursday before Mass. And uh, what else is going on this week? Our, our seventh graders are making their Minneapolis mission trip uh, on Wednesday morning. We wish you well, uh, safe travels, and thank you to Mrs. Yatskis for putting together this opportunity for our seventh graders. We hope you have a great experience. Uh, would also, uh, let's see here. I'd uh, like to thank our uh, archery club. It was fun to see you in action uh, yesterday. Thank you for the invite to come join you for your year-end uh, celebration. Congratulations to Miss Abby Ament, who successfully uh, shot an apple off of my head. So good job, Miss Abby. Uh, to the other students, I was impressed with your abilities, uh, but to those in particular who uh, didn't uh, successfully shoot the apple off my head. Uh, in other words, they missed. Uh, I'd like to encourage uh, continued practice for you. So, okay. No, it was great to, to see you. We've got a really talented uh, archery uh, group and uh, appreciate those instructors that have provided that this year. So um, good job and congratulations on a successful season. Uh, with that being said, uh, a new week means a new virtue, and this week's virtue is docility. Let's take a look at the definition of docility. Docility, willingness to be taught. Well, I think this is a, a great virtue uh, for all of us, right? Not just you students. You're thinking, well, of course, I have to learn. I need to have that ability, that willingness to be taught. But that's true throughout our entire life. We, we never stop learning, right? Especially from our Lord. Uh, our Lord continues to teach us um, throughout our lives. And, and as we just wrapped up Divine Mercy Sunday, um, you know, I think I had... Uh, kind of a new revelation uh, for me about Christ and his mercy and my my openness to accept it um, and and I th you know that it was really powerful for me as well when we're looking at this virtue of docility I think of, of a puppy and maybe um, I bet many of you have have a puppy and, and you've gone through that training experience and maybe some of you have had puppies that were hard to train and some that were easy to train Right? When I think about those, those puppies that are, are docile, means, uh, or they're pra you know, not practicing the virtue, but they, they have this uh, ability to, to, uh, to be taught. All right? Those are great, great puppies, right? Those are great dogs. They grow to be uh, you know, very good family companions. And they get a lot more freedom, right? A, a dog who is easily trained is one that probably gets to come inside the house or travels with you when you travel or gets to do fun experiences. Uh, as opposed to that dog that is, is not as easy to teach, they end up where? They end up in the kennel more often probably, right? And, and I think the true is, is with, that is true with us as well, is that uh, as we're open to being taught, we're, we're able to uh, have more freedom, right? Um, and we're able to grow more. And, and that's the gift that God wants to give us in this virtue of docility is just that uh, he'll allow us to, to grow in relationship with him if, if we're docile, if we're able to be taught by him. So uh, let's pray for that gift of, of uh, the virtue of docility uh, as we begin this week. So uh, this morning, I'd like to say a glory be with you. So let's begin in the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and ever shall be a world without end amen let's take a moment now to pause and pray for those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. St. John the Apostle, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, good job. Let's stand now, place our hand over our hearts, and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, good job, everyone. I hope it's a uh, fabulous week for you. Um, and that um, we think about this virtue of docility uh, throughout the week. And think about those moments where um, maybe we can be open to new things, realize that, that we have more to learn, right? And also having that virtue of docility uh, leads to another virtue, having a virtue of humility. And both of these will help us as we aim to be saints. Have a great week.